What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Black Friday haul. Let's get right into this. Okay, so for this year's Black Friday, I unfortunately did not get too much. There wasn't that great of sales this year. I did manage to get a few video games, but normally I'll get a combination of video games and hockey cards because usually they'll get a Upper Deck Series 1 Blaster Box, 50% off. So instead of paying 50 bucks, I'm paying 25 bucks. This year they didn't have them on sale for some reason. They did the past two years. But I did manage to get some good deals on video games. I got two games on the PlayStation Store for their Black Friday sale. And I got two games at Walmart that I always get the physical copies for. So I'm going to start off with what I got on the PlayStation Store. Up first is A Way Out which is a two-person co-op game, I believe. I have not yet to play it, but I plan on playing it with my friend really soon. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Basically, you are escaping the prison between the two of you, and at times, one person will have to go and split off from the group and do certain things, and the other person will do other things. So it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It was on sale 50% off for $20, so I thought, for me, that was a great deal. It does look like a game that I'll be able to platinum, and both of us will be able to get the platinum. There's not that many trophies, I think 15 trophies in total, but there is a really easy, I'm going to say easy, uh, way to get a platinum. It looks like it's going to be a fun game for the story as well, so I decided to pick that one up. The other game is, finally, Horizon Zero Dawn. I picked it up on the PlayStation Store as well, and it was on sale for $15, 50% off, usually it's 30 bucks. And for me, that is a game that I've been looking for for quite some time. I've talked about it on the channel in a different videos, and I know I'm going to be uploading this right away, but there might be a few videos coming out that I'll be mentioning that I don't have Horizon Zero Dawn yet, but I managed to pick it up for Black Friday. I actually started it. I plan on just doing the tutorial and getting into it just so I can see the trophy list. And from just starting it like I planned on doing, it turned into three or four hours. So it's a lot of fun, it's addictive, it's a great game, story is amazing, gameplay is amazing, it's honestly a lot of fun and I'm just starting it out. So I'm really excited to start playing Horizon Zero Dawn more. On top of that, I extended my PlayStation PS Plus subscription for one more year. It was on sale for $50, $20 off, so I decided to get that so it doesn't run out because I like getting the free games every month and having the ability to play online. So that's everything that I got on the PlayStation Store for their Black Friday sale. There was a few other games I was looking into. Anthem was $15. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 was on sale for $40, 50% off as well. And a couple other games, but I decided to save my money and only pick the games that I really wanted to play. Horizon Zero Dawn's been on my list for months. A Way Out is something that me and my friend can play co-op and go through the story for that. So that was definitely on my list. Red Dead Redemption 2, I decided to not get it, even though it was on a reduced price. And Anthem, I just don't know anything about it. I hear, I hear good things, I hear bad things about it, so I decided to pass. So that's everything that I got from the store. Now for what I got at Walmart today. Up first is Need for Speed Heat. This was on sale 50% off. And whenever I mention games, I live in Canada, so a new game cost $80. So this was on sale for $40, so for me that's a great deal, I hear great things about it. It looks like it's a great Need for Speed game, not like Need for Speed Payback, which in my opinion was slacking. So I'm really excited to get this. I always seem to want to get a few games that are physical copies. Need for Speed is one of them, NHL is one of them, but I've already gotten NHL a couple weeks ago because they had a great deal um, mistakenly in store, so I managed to pick up NHL 20, but also WWE, and I get those every year physical physical copies because if your internet ever goes out, you can't play your games that you downloaded, so you can always play the physical copies. So I always want to have a few physical copies of my games. That way, if the internet were to go down, which mine doesn't anymore because we have new internet, if it ever were to, I'd still be able to play something. So Need for Speed, I always get the physical copy for, so it was on sale for 40 bucks, And like I get every single year... I got this year's WWE, WWE 2K20. It has a lot of mistakes in it this year, a lot of glitches, and it's not 
a 100% game like other years were. Basically, Ukes uh, decided, I don't know if it was Ukes that decided to back out or if 2K kind of pushed them out the door, but Ukes did not help develop this game at all, unfortunately. So there's a lot of things in this game. I guess there's a lot of glitches, a lot of problems in matches, and a lot of things like that. But the reason why I wanted it is, number one, the updated roster. I wanted to play universe mode on the new game. I do have uh, 2K19, which I am still playing. And if this game is not up to par, I might have to bounce back to 2K19 just to get my universe modes in. But this, even though there is a lot of problems, apparently... I always get the WWE games every year. I have the past, I think now, 16 or 17 years straight without missing a year. So I definitely wanted to get this one. It was on sale for $40 as well, 50% off. The one thing that, for me, is unfortunate is whenever this game was released, they did not have Create a Championship in the game. However, 2K announced that it will be in a future update. They are going to add the Created Championships in the game. And for me, that matters a lot because if that wasn't in the game, I would have waited until this game was even more reduced before purchasing it because the create a championship, I always do that for my universe mode. I create extra belts for my brands and giving all my superstars kind of the ability to at least go for a championship if it's not a main event one. So I'm glad that they're going to be putting it in it, but apparently there's a lot that was missing in this game that's not going to be in it, unfortunately. But it does look like an interesting game, and I always get it every year, so that's why I decided to get it. So these are the games that I purchased for Black Friday. I know I titled this video Black Friday Haul, but I didn't manage to get too much. Two games, physical copies, two games from the PlayStation Store, and I updated my uh, PlayStation Plus. So that's all I got this year. Hockey cards were not on sale. That one sucked for me because I wanted to get back into hockey cards, but I still buy them off of eBay. The cards that I want and share with you guys that so hope you guys did enjoy this video I know there was other games that I could have got and I kind of wish that I did but I really wanted to save my money because I have been spending a lot of money lately so this is all I got Black Friday hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna leave this here please take care peace